So if you want to learn how to get started with Node.js and start writing code, you've come to the right place. Welcome to this course titled Node.js Basics. This course is going to be an introduction to the Node.js platform. Uh, we will be doing an end-to-end -end coverage of some of the fundamental features of Node.js, the fundamental concepts of Node.js, as well as write some code. This is going to be a little bit of a hands-on course where we're going to be trying out a few utilities. We'll be writing a few utilities uh, and kind of learning Node.js as we write those utilities. Um, this is the agenda for the course. We are going to be understanding what Node.js is, what the platform is all about, why it was created, and what you can do with Node.js. Uh, we will set up Node.js on our machines. We will write some code with Node.js and we'll execute it and see how it works. Uh, we will also understand and use the module system in Node.js. Node.js module system is a very powerful feature of Node.js, and there's a lot you can do with it. So we will understand what that is and how to use it. Uh, we will also learn how to organize our code and kind of leverage the module system that comes with Node.js to organize our own modules, right? How do you create separations in your code? How do you organize your code? What are the best practices? We'll be covering all those features. And then here's the hands-on part. We will be building a couple of utilities. First, we will learn how to build a web server using Node.js. We will create an endpoint that we can access using a browser, and we'll have it respond with different responses, right? And then we will also write a command line utility. This is also another thing you can do with Node.js. We will create a simple command line utility and use some of the things that we've learned uh, in the agenda that you're seeing here. So this is the agenda. There's a lot to cover. But before we get into the details of what we're covering, let's look at the prerequisites. We have very little prerequisites for this course. The first important prerequisite is that you should have a working knowledge of JavaScript. Everything that we're going to write, all the code that we're going to write in this course is all in JavaScript, as you can imagine. No JS, right? The JS is JavaScript. So you should have some working knowledge of JavaScript. You should have written some JavaScript or have some fundamental understanding of the JavaScript syntax. I'm not going to be covering a lot of the syntax. Uh, and the second prerequisite is you should have some familiarity with the command line. We're going to be running commands and executing stuff, so you should have some familiarity with it. Uh, but as long as you meet these two prerequisites, you should be all set. And by the end of this course, you will have a working knowledge of Node.js. You will be able to write code using Node.js. You'll be able to build utilities and applications like what we talked about. You should be able to write a web application you should be able to write a command line utility, and you should have an understanding of how all those things work. So I hope you're excited. Let's get started with the next tutorial, which is understanding what Node.js actually is.